I am now in the presence of pure being and immersed in the Holy Spirit of life, love, and wisdom. I acknowledge thy presence and thy power, O blessed Spirit. In thy divine wisdom, now erase my mortal limitations, and from thy pure substance of love, bring into manifestation my world according to thy perfect law. The word for today from the Unity Daily Word we take from Sunday, December 8th, 2019. On this second Sunday of Advent, in preparation for Christmas, the word is peace. Our affirmation, embodying the peace of God, I create a peaceful world. Silent night. Holy night, all is calm, all is bright. I know peace as I hear the first words of this beloved Christmas carol. The peace I feel wells up from the depths of my being, from a place of silence filled only with the awareness of God. The peace of God refreshes me and restores me each time I visit this inner sanctuary, replacing anything unlike itself. My consciousness remains calm and bright as I return to the many activities of the day. As I embody peace, stress and tension transform into productive energy. Peace shows me there are possibilities for good in every situation and every relationship. Thoughts of peace, words of peace, and peaceful actions fill my day. I embody peace to help create a peaceful world. The scripture with the daily word comes from Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3. Those of steadfast mind you keep in peace, in peace because they trust you. The word for today is peace, and our affirmation, embodying the peace of God, I create a peaceful world. And so it is. Amen. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me, in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Good morning. The tradition of Advent. Advent is the period of four Sundays and weeks before Christmas, or sometimes from the 1st of December to Christmas Day. Advent means coming in Latin. This is the coming of Jesus into the world. Christians use the four Sundays and four weeks of Advent to prepare, 
and remember the real meaning of Christmas. From the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, starting with verse 26. God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. From the Revealing Word by Charles Fillmore. Peace. Harmony and tranquility derive from awareness of the Christ consciousness. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. John chapter 14 verse 27. Steadfast affirmations of peace will harmonize the whole body structure and open the way to attainment of health conditions in mind and body. Until world peace is based on the divine law of love and this law incorporated into the pact of peace as well as into the minds of those who sign the pact, there will be no permanent peace. We are delighted to present today our second Advent service, Peace. We will feature it during this presentation, the traditional Bible story, the PBS interview featuring interviewer Bill Moyers, as he interviews historian and author Joseph Campbell. Our traditional Bible story was read earlier from the Gospel of Luke, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, the town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary, as the angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. And again, I'd like for you to imagine a time of peace in your life when you were given or told during a time of peace that you were highly favored. And imagine in your own mind that you are being blessed as we also uh, feature a public broadcasting uh, system presentation featuring interviewer and author Bill Moyers. The hyperlink for this video uh, can be found in the description area below this YouTube video. If you're using Google, however, or another web service, if you simply type out the following hyperlink, and again, that's uh, that's the HTTP that you see over on the PowerPoint page. It will again take you to a YouTube video, which is actually again owned by the public broadcasting system. And that's why we're asking you uh, to be patient and take a look at that video. Enjoy the video as you're able. As again, we say peace, peace and peace. Those of you who are our healers will enjoy the presentation because it features something that looks very familiar to our seven chakras that we have studied in our classes. So again, we offer a traditional presentation today and a traditional story of the Virgin Mary 
And we all also offer today an opportunity to enjoy a video presentation that we pray will expand your awareness and your knowledge and your sense of interest on today's theme. God bless you and go in peace. And so it is. Amen. Let us pray in the stillness, in the silence. And we say, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for this time of prayer and meditation. Amen. As we prepare to close today with our prayer for protection, we're going to have a, well, let's say a, a breathing, a blessing in the form of a breathing exercise that we will we're going to hold hands and do together, Michelle. And so I'm prepared to hold your hand. Are you prepared to hold my hand? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. And I'm going to have you lead us in, in uh, breathing exercise. Today. All right. Our pastoral nurse. <laughs> All right. Let's take our time and settle into our seats, become comfortable, and take one deep breath and just make that a good physical breath, knowing that that breath is going into our lungs and throughout our body and feeding us with all that is good for us. Take a deep breath and exhale. And we take a second breath, which is a mental breath, allowing us to clear ourselves, to clear our thoughts. And a second deep breath in and hold that for a second and exhale. And our third and final breath, a deep breath. We'll call this our spiritual breath as we focus on the spiritual person that we know ourselves to be. Yes. Deep breath. 
And as we exhale, we exhale using the name of God in many traditions. <sighs> yes, yes, thank you, Michelle. Body, mind, and spirit. We breathe in, body, mind, and spirit. We release, we breathe out as we prepare uh, to close with our unity prayer for protection. Michelle, together. The, the light of God, God surrounds us. us. The, the love, love of God, God enfolds us. The, the power of God, God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And so it is. Amen. Whatever the trouble you find yourself in, no matter the difficulty, when your back's to the wall and there's nowhere to run, the doors close. The Daily Word is reproduced with permission of Unity, publisher of The Daily Word. Website, dailyword.com.